Yes, I saw it, man. Back at it again, brother. It's a family. Get that fresh fish. This is fish, veggies, and rice. Now we're here enjoying it, enjoying it here in Lock Rose. You now, so we're outside the city of Dakar. So we're here in this incredible, wonderful resort. I don't like it. Salim. So we're just enjoying our lunch. And uh, we wish you could join us, but uh, we'll see you in the future. Pink lake, and we saw the pink lake that's no longer pink. Yeah, we did see the pink lake that's no longer pink. But I'm, dr I'm drinking my flag beer. <laughs> Similar to all your other journeys. Well, how did we because, make of, because of the all-day schedule. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like Yo, this guy trying to kill us, but he got us all day. I was like, can I go in my room and sleep? Ain't no nap on this journey. And then I saw you walking down the stairs again, and it was too late for me to tell you that we had the bus coming around. <laughs> you can't believe that. <laughs> But I told everybody it was a great experience doing it, and everybody made it up. Well, yeah. compared to your, some of your other groups, how do we rate? Uh, no, it's uh, you know, it's, it's just a, to compare, you know, no. and it was just less of us last time. Huh? It was just less of us last time, and it was just me and some of my close friends. You know, um, um, you now we actually you know we have a real tour group, so it's just you just have to just make better adjustment. Because I mean, we were going out partying, all kind of stuff. <laughs> Coming in late, getting up. <laughs> we're military. We you know, by the time people come in and eat, they're, they're, they're tired, they're done. We know how to party and get up. Mm -hmm. That's cool. But it's a lot more people, and I've told Abdullah, I was like, I've canceled so many sending on a jamming trip, I just never thought I'd see the day when it worked. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, 2008, 9, 10, then uh, 2019, 20, 21, bunch of stuff. But the Ghana ones worked, so they was like, we're not gonna come to Senegal on a jamming with you, we're gonna, come, we're gonna come to Ghana with you. So I'm telling people it's not like I wanted to do Ghana all the time, it's just that's what people wanted to do. And I'm just thankful that they want to go somewhere. Because they had experience. Yeah, you're trying to put more videos and information out. Even Liberia, uh, trying to give it the advantage so we can yeah. get there and start connecting to Liberia. Yeah. You know, it's unfortunate. I know, you know, I mean, all of us were adults and we saw our child soldiers, Charles Taylor, this person, that person, Sierra Leone craziness. And, and then, you know, are we hoping that, you know, we can, we can see this brighter days from there. That's scared. That still scares a lot of people. Oh, that's the one that we saw in the. Um and then they made movies about it, Blood Diamonds. Remember that did, movie? Yeah, they that movie terrified you, especially when they put it behind. They said, short arms, long arm, a short arm. Like, what? I was like, I was like, how about? Yeah, it's crazy. And now you're just going out there trying to get some some food for your children or getting some some water or something. Next, you know, you're getting snatched up. So, you know, we just hope that you know we can just move on and these things just never happen again. No doubt. Because when I talk to people, they're like, you got all the countries that have been through civil war in your itinerary, I'm not going with you. <laughs> I was like, this was a long time ago. Because I, I tell them, I was like, because they saw Rwanda, they saw Liberia, and who else they saw? I mean, all of them been through it. But, Even you know, America been through it. We're supposed to come As a matter of fact, their civil war, they progressed because they, they became more powerful than their colonizer and their... 
Yeah. It became even a white man do it. I think America became the more like a righteous where they'll paint it as that. When they do ours, they paint us as savages. Yes. And we go with it. If they want to change our perception, it'll be all right. The American yeah. uh, revolution is about it was about patriotism, right? Right. right. The patriots in America versus the colonizers. That's right. The colonizers. Right. Right. No doubt. This real because the narrative is like Nigeria is bad, right? But right. it's all the gold and stuff there, so nobody goes there. Like, but the white people are there, Just buying up everything. Also, even when it was Ebola and Sierra Leone, I mean, it was all kind of international countries coming in, and they was they was working those mines. They was working those mines. What they call them? But it's, it's it's sad that you know. The richest, the richest um, countries, they usually have the worst situation because everybody's fighting over their They're doing resources. it on purpose. Like Congo purpose. seemed like, they, I don't think Congo ever had like any peace in the last hundred years. Yeah. yeah. The peace, when you look right. deep yeah. into the situation, somebody's little fingers are in there. That's right. Yeah, most of the time they starve the man. Yeah. Yeah, so Dr. So we're told. So yes, oh no, Dr. Omar Johnson no. was like, no, no, that's it. Like the white man. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's in their interest to, you know, while we're fighting, they could just make better deals with whoever. Right. Like, I remember um, I was watching a documentary, they were saying uh, the, 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 the Firestone Corporation, they are trying to figure out who to, who, to make a, who to make a deal with. Should they make a deal with Charles Taylor mm -hmm. or make a deal with the other, uh, you know, other, you know, the other person that was running the country? And they chose to deal with Charles Taylor. Yeah. And they said they hoped that they made the right decision. But they didn't have a choice because America needed the rubber. Yep. <laughs> Look, the minute I heard that some rich guy was on a boat deciding, okay, how are we going to get cocaine into America and make this money? And they sat there and decided to drop the cocaine into poor, poor people's uh, neighborhoods and push it. I mean, this That's was a it. decision true. True. By, by two or three people to make money. No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. So I don't take it past them for anything. I back in the day, if y'all look it up, back in the day, I never could LA think Times that. ran a story, the Mercury, San Jose Mercury News ran a story making a oh. definite connection between the CIA and the, yeah. and the cocaine you, train with the Contras. Right. Yeah. And Nicaragua. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the war on drugs. That was the war on drugs. Counter intelligence. Yeah. That's an incredible strategy. That's an incredible strategy, bro. I mean, look how many people it affected. They didn't care about us. I moved to New York during that whole drug time, and it was horrible. You're talking about in the 80s? Yeah. Yeah, that's when we came from Jamaica in the 80s. It was, it was crazy. It was, but just yeah. to think that somebody actually decided to do that made it even worse. So yeah, the New York, yeah. yeah it was, I went in the Navy about that time and ended up in California. So how long you stayed in the Navy? Four years. Yeah. But I'm a veteran. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that's all I'm at. Yeah, but the four years is good. Um, I'm upset at myself because I, I would have been retired at 26, 27, 8 years right now. Well, I didn't go in. Do you know what I, you know you I was when I was in? Uh, 21. 33. Oh, you barely missed the cutoff. <laughs> yes. 33. <laughs> and I ran with the best of them. Oh, yeah. And after, after we got into it. I never wanted to go in the military. I never even thought about it. I don't know. I walked past the recruiters one day and he pulled me in. And my father was Navy. Wow. Yeah, recruiters are good, man. They're good at what they do. I had a good one. He made sure I went to A school and got designated. What were you doing before you got here? Basically, nothing. I just finished college. I had, a, I had a, I had an old man, a good friend, and one of the most supportive brothers that I've ever had in my life. Most supportive brother who's ever been in my life. So when he came home, he worked at the. He said, "Baby, what you do today?" I said, "Baby, give us what I do today." He said, "What you do, baby?" I said, "I joined the navy." <laughs> he said, is that what you want to do? I said, yeah. He said, okay. When I graduated from boot camp, I'm right there. Really? Mm -hmm. I have, in fact, he passed about three years ago. And he passed in his car. 
you had to break into the car and get his wallet. But when they pulled his wallet out, they were just going to go No, no, no. His niece and take it. So his niece shared that with him. So, <laughs> we, had, we weren't together. But when I went to New York, I could stay with him. Um, have my own little part of the house. He had his girlfriend with her, and I had a car if I needed. Friends. And see, it's hard for African Americans to understand that we can be friends. You know, it ain't always about. Yeah. Yeah. Vicious in the country, I know. Man. Like, <laughs> I'd rather they love fish. Yeah, but I can handle them. I, it's the mosquitoes. I can't. <laughs> kind of. But, you know, last night was pretty good. But I have a feeling there's something else. Cause one of my hands still acting. Yeah, it's up. hard anyway. Okay. I like we be out of there. Yeah, we got an eight-hour tour. Yeah. Later, we got to go to the game. It's not that long. Five-hour drive. No, you did it right. No, we have, we have a nice, beautiful beach resort. Just want us to get a chance to get there and relax and enjoy it. Relax, enjoy it. Lose the first day. Instead of seeing all day on the road. Yeah. And then the two days we're on tour is not much. Right. Early as possible. As soon as you get there, I got your visa and two other people visa. Uh, we we'll just go get it, get it knocked out. I got mine. I thought we were going to get it at the border. Oh yes, we're going to get it at the border. As soon as we get there, um, we'll give it to the uh, get it cleared out, and then all of us process through. Is this Jojo? That is, you know what? But I'm just we got it. That's hot sauce. No, be careful. It looked like it, but it's been a long time. I had some chocho. It's chocho, it's just. Okay. Mix it up. Okay. I'm sure they have a different name for it or something. Yeah. You know, we've got to work the game plan for breakfast yeah, and also for lunch. Yeah. Uh, usually we bring some food to the bus for breakfast while we drive and eat our food. And then when we, for lunch, we just grab something quick and get on the bus. Because I realize that whenever we do these stops, it, it makes it long. Next thing you know, we're in the Gambia in the mid and later night. So, I'm gonna get up like two hours. Or it's good. Yeah, I'm gonna get my stuff together. Right, I'm just gonna go over there. And everybody should be motivated to leave on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. we're motivated. Right. We're motivated. We're motivated. Especially when you got this incredible resort waiting for you in paradise. I'm, I'm, hoping that, I'm hoping that people come out and actually swim and get out of the water and swim. Uh, yeah, swimwear because I mean, they have these big pools and also they have this right there on the ocean. We fact that, you know, Alex Haley got his inspiration to write about Six thirty sounds good. <laughs> because the main thing about it, you can sleep on a bus. <laughs> do we have to do anything? Plus, you have to load the bus. What do we have so to got, do to check out of that place? Anything? No, we're gonna just work it out tonight because I've already told him I'm leaving early tomorrow. So I told him, let us know if we need to do anything. I have free luggage. Hot sauce, there you go. You yeah, what, what, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna stack it on top of the bus. Nah, see that? Like we did in Ghana. Unfortunately. <laughs> Now, which one of those little sisters on there? They're paying trousers. Oh, no. <laughs> just a little bit. That's yeah, all right. Just, uh, just back on top of it. We drive and we get around. Your circus creature. Oh. It's nice to move. Because that's what we get. I offer somebody else. I offer somebody else. And then we have some more wonderful places to have dinner. But it's 
Oh, it looks like a pickled tomato sauce. Yeah. I'm trying. Yeah. 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 She really get out of it. So that's what he's doing. I heard about all these women with these straight What do they call it? Pepe, yeah, which is a pepper sauce. I love Ghana. I enjoy Ghana. I don't like the answer. Do you notice you have not seen one open sewage? Yeah, here. I've been looking. I'm like, I gotta find one. And you don't see no, no, like the main roads, you don't see no damaged main roads. Yeah, I told them they got all these new cars cleaning up. Might be the government or some part of the government. Now, the people about their business, man. They just. Don't the, first don't get. the people are very honorable to each other. They clean up and they, they just. You know. It is. It's far better than any country I've seen outside of South Africa. Yeah, it's true. I heard Rwanda was better. Yeah, Rwanda one is brand, brand new. Yeah, I'm sure when we get there, we'll definitely see that. Um, you know, they got a the good thing about it, they have, they have, and, they have, and they have a smaller country, so they're able to just get some things done. I wanted to take it out. Why not? Do whatever you want. Let's do it. I'm ready to go. You said you ain't got nobody else doing it. I'm waiting. I'm looking forward to canceling it next month. No, it's just a bunch of people want to go, but I'm telling them uh, we, we can't. It's hard, uh, I mean, it was a whole lot of people, but it seems like I just may have to find another day to use because people, you know, like people may have other things. It seems like that's what's been going on. People had other things going on, and even though they wanted to go, but uh, I have a whole list of people who wanted to go. But, you know, so I'm gonna reach back out to them and see. And if nothing else, you, know, you can send it. We can just we put it on the schedule again. Like I thought about December 20, uh, yeah, 2024 because I don't have a schedule for December 2024. You finished? You know, all the countries that we go to, you know, the weather, one thing about the weather in Africa is it's always consistent. Even if it's a rainy season, maybe a little cooler, but I'd have to check the weather in Rwanda around that time. But all these countries that we go to, they're like either above or below the equator, and they're just in the tropical zone. The weather is consistent all year round. Like I've been to Senegal different times of the year, and it feels like it's always at like the same weather. It's November. It's cool. Really hurts? Mm -hmm. Your tummy hurts? Oh. No, it's, it's November. Oh, you're, you're in your ears. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, yes, uh, uh, Tanzania, Tanzania, Zanzibar, uh, November. Doing our uh, Thanksgiving. I gotta be sure I can afford it. I just gotta, I got everything I schedule. I schedule with a child out of school because because wherever I go, wherever I go, he has to go. <laughs> Even when he said when he got there, he was going to stay. All the black kids were coming there, and, was, and everything was changed. They went from 12,000 people to 60,000 people just because of the same thing. And the guy is paralleling, paralleling back to the same thing that they did with Jack and Robinson. The Negro Leagues were starting to attract white people to watch the Negro Leagues because they were much better than them. Yeah, and everyone goes to another country like that. Yeah, but someone that went to the Negro Leagues and put him in the and then from Janusbury, they'll go back to America. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. what you do is you can just so separate the tour part and then you just say what you want to do on the flight. And then, when you, and then whatever the flight costs come up, you know, they pay for the flight costs and then you just pay for the land portion separate. Baseball players. Some hotels, businesses, they were making money. Yeah, yeah. 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 The Negro, they, they bought stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I got a, I got a, so yeah, you know, I, I want the sequence where, um, Anything like, example, they're always ahead of us and they do their thingy and we don't even see what's going on. family, the journey continues. Uh, we're about to finish up and talk about something else. So thank you for joining us.